A man under arrest tonight accused of breaking into a home and torturing a North Harris County family. And we have to warn you that the details of this crime are disturbing. As Local 2's Nefertiti Jack Wes tells us, the suspect is no stranger to this kind of crime. Well, this is where it all happened right here behind me at this apartment complex. The suspect, Philip Oliver, we're told, has a pattern of allegedly doing this. In fact, we have learned that he was convicted of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon back in 2008. He's the man police are calling a sick and twisted individual. Philip Oliver Jr. was just busted for terrorizing a family in their own home before robbing them. Um, the details of the crime are so heinous, this neighbor who lives right across the way tells us he plans on moving. And he's not the only one who's having a difficult time comprehending how the 25-year-old could possibly do what police are alleging. I think this is pretty sick, man. It was 9.30 in the morning, March 26. Police say a man living in building number 8 of the Chisholm's Trail Apartments had just parked his car and was making his way to his unit. Out of nowhere, detectives say Oliver and an accomplice walked up with their faces covered, pulled out guns and forced the man inside of his home. Once inside, they say the suspects forced the victim and his family to strip naked as they ransacked the apartment looking for money and jewelry. What's worse, court documents show Oliver sodomized the homeowner after dunking his head in the toilet, raped the man's wife and mother-in-law, and put a gun to his daughter's head and threatened to kill the six-month-old baby. If people are going around doing this, I mean, what are you supposed to do, right? Meantime, officers were able to zero in on Oliver because he and his friend allegedly stole the victim's car after they robbed and raped the family. So once they traced the car down, they found Oliver. And I hope the family's, you know, Okay. Yeah, doing all right, and I hope the best for him, you know. Now, detectives tell us that Oliver has confessed to his role in the crime. However, he is not giving up his accomplice's name. So tonight, police say they are still looking for that second suspect. We're in North Harris County. Now, for TD Jack Quez, KPRC, Local 2. Oliver has been charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon and aggravated sexual assault. He is behind bars awaiting his next court day and was given a no bond.